What's up, everybody? It's -a me, Big Cam. Uh, okay, that was super gay. Don't roast me in the comments. Uh, or do. But today we are watching 2023's Super Mario Bros. movie. And I have already done a review on this movie back when the movie came out. Back in 2023, early 2023. Um... This was a fun movie to watch in the theaters. It has since gone down a ranking. I originally gave it a four and a half stars, a nine out of ten. Uh, brought that down a little bit to four out of five stars, you know, an eight out of ten. It's just, you know, it's not a completely rewatchable movie, especially if you know what's happening. It's That being said, it's still great. You know, it still looks phenomenal. The illumination, animation, like, uh, techniques just look so real like i thought i was seeing a, a real like not real life but like a real video game brought to life type of deal and it looked just looked so perfect and you could tell that the people that were working on this were huge fans of the games and you know i can't say enough good things about jack black's bowser uh you know i don't know if princess peach is the best but the character design still looks great uh, I just don't know if Anya Taylor-Joy quite got her voice correct, but hey, Seth Rogen, Donkey Kong, I ain't mad at that, you know, uh, Keenan-Michael Key, Toad, you know, Chris Pratt as Mario, Charlie Day as Luigi, you know, I, I really liked all the voices, I thought they nailed it, um, and I thought the character designs looked great, and I'm really looking forward to seeing some more Mario movies. I think the second Mario movie is either going to focus more on the kart side of things, I hope, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it will mix some karting in there as well, though. Uh, the one kart sequence they had in this on the Rainbow Road was was just pretty awesome. You know what I mean? Like, they just nailed everything. The Mushroom Kingdom. Like, they just... The, the amount of Easter eggs for Mario fans in this was awesome. Um, I really hope maybe the second one is like a Luigi's Haunted Mansion type thing. They did like the vibes of that Luigi's Haunted Mansion for like a, a brief second. But, you know, I really like Charlie Day's voicing of Luigi. So, you know, I, I wouldn't mind seeing a, a Mario 2 Luigi's Haunted Mansion. You know, maybe not even have Mario in it so much. But, you know, they're the Super Mario Bros. So it's kind of not right to have just one by itself. You know, have have one and the other and then also like uh the post credit scene of this or i don't know if it was post credit or just the end but uh luigi's or yoshi's egg starts cracking so you know we can have yoshi mario luigi back in another movie i ain't mad at it um but i gave it four out of five stars but an eight out of ten and uh that's my movie review for today i'm so far i'm nine for nine with movies um stay tuned for the next video We'll be talking about Jurassic Park Fallen Kingdom, uh, at least the next movie review. But Echo also came on Disney Plus the other day, so stay tuned for those videos. I'm um, so far two episodes in, and I'm ecstatic about it, and I can't wait to talk more Echo with y'all. And if you haven't watched it yet, go check it out. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.